In this demo, we are going to see a few ways we can QA circuits using Feeder Manager data. So one of the first things we can do is using the Feeder ID to symbolize our circuits. We can symbolize circuits or pieces of the circuit that have Feeder ID node by simply using definition query. We can also display legacy feeder ID information and the new feeder ID after we run trace of feeders. So in this example, I'm showing you one circuit where we are applying a definition query to symbolize based on feeder ID. And we do have a legacy feeder ID that we can also use to overlay the circuits and see how they are matching. Let's zoom to this first circuit here so we can compare both. Let me turn on the electric devices so we can see clearly how far the circuits go. So by using feeder ID, we can see the blue circuit here, 26H5, covers all this area. I want to see if I overlay with the legacy feeder ID if that coverage is going to be the same. Basically, I'm seeing some, uh, seeing some areas where the circuits are not matching. So that could be a potential problem with the feeder manager trace of feeders or some other inconsistencies within the circuit. So that needs further investigation. Uh, we can also use the feeder info information to label our circuits. So for that, I can apply basically a simple uh, label expression to my electric lines and using the Talvent minor minor label, feeder manager label expression that we concatenate information from phase encode and feeder info and display issues with the phasing, such as CNC loops or multi-feeds, etc. So let's see how the label expression will displace no. So let me turn on labeling. So as you can see here, what is the label showing in red are actually pieces of conductor that have some issue. However, it makes it hard to quantify how many issues I have in a database. So in that case, we can use a GIS data reviewer to inspect our circuits and quantify the number of errors that needs to be inspected. Let's zoom to my area where I can QA to see my circuit. Start a reviewer session. Let me validate my reviewer batch job, which has a list of all the circuits. And if you notice, those match exactly the validations or the label expressions I have loaded to my segment lines. So all my features are valid. And I can put a note. I can be used later to sort the errors. I'll show you in a few minutes. I can validate to the current extent, the initial query, or full database. Errors were written to the reviewer table. I can simply load the reviewer table. There you go. Let me see loop. Or just to make it easier, I can group by feature class or also have some notes in there. If I group by the notes, can have the total number of invalid features. So 
I can at any moment regroup and say just for notes I don't have the total for each one. What else the we can enter here is the correction status and after we finish the correction we can enter the verification status. If you want more information please go to support white papers production line Use the GS Dira Zero to inspect RFM circuits. You can also download the less, latest label expression from Delvent My Miner by going to miner.com free tools label expression. We also have additional checks that can be used to validate your circuit. So Reviewer has more than 40 different types of checks that can be used. For example, we have duplicate geometry checks, we have feature and feature checks. So you want to check if a transformer is overlaying a switch. Or you can also have the database validation checks, so for domains, subtypes, and relationships. And also if your geometric network has connectivity rules, that can be used to check to validate your, your circuits. Other checks are topology, table, polyline, polygons, duplicate geometry, and default checks such as invalid geometry. So reviewer really has a comprehensive list of checks that can be used to validate your database.